I like this, you guys. Look at this thing. <laughs> it's a beast. Oh, yeah. Okay. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Down Alpha 21. This is the Apocalypse Ranger series, and I'm an old guy. Gaming. It is Horde Night 98, and so I'm getting uh, prepared for the Horde Night itself. Um, I've spent the last couple of days off camera, in game days off camera, um, just gathering resources like crazy. So I've done a bunch of mining um, and a bunch of salvaging. And uh, so let's see, what, <laughs> where to even start? We got so much going on here. Uh, so in my in my inventory, I have um, been making rocket casings. Uh, actually, I had to make the rocket casings themselves in the forges. So we got a whole mess of rocket rocket casings uh, that we've made, and I am ready now to start making frag rockets. Uh, I've also made a few stacks of contact grenades as well. And we're going to use these on the zombos that gather around, you know, like the perimeter of the of the base and don't come in uh, into the explosion chamber. Uh, I st also still have more Molotovs for that purpose as well. So we're very well prepared uh, with multiple options when it comes to that. Uh, so for the rocket casings themselves, um, do we need to, let's see, do I need to do that in, probably need to do that at the workbench, right? Uh, yeah, we do. Okay, so let's go to... I've got a um, 200 armor piercing 7.62s making up. I'm going to start using those in the sniper rifle. I'm not going to use them in... Wow, we can only make 10 of those, huh? Oh, you know why? Because I... Okay, hold on. I need to open more of these up. Let's just open them all up. Okay. There we go, 50. Um... <clears throat> Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so we're, we're only going to use these in the sniper rifles because we just have, and, and we continue to get so much of the regular 7.62 that I'm just going to continue using those in the M60s. But for sniping, we'll start using armor-piercing 7.62s. Okay, so let's see. We have a, a, a few extra resources left over. So let's put the gunpowder back in there. We used all of that gasoline, my goodness. But one of the things I wouldn't mind up a whole bunch of was oil shell. Uh, this guy's working on uh, multiple uh, stacks of gunpowder. This guy's working on multiple stacks of gasoline. So we have plenty more to come. And as you can see, I did build another chemistry bench too. Um, in the process of looting cars and salvaging cars, I found the final engine book so we are vehicles or vehicle books so we are now maxed out which means we are now able to begin making the best vehicles that, that the game and bw's vehicle mod offers to us um so right now i'd kind of like to i to try you know some of these out to see which one's going to be really the best one So even even in here, well, we okay. So we already did the, yeah, we already did the Humvee, and I'm honestly I'm not super impressed with the Humvee. I don't think these are showing all the vehicles that we can make either. By the way, there's more to BWS mod than what we see here. If we look in here, we've got yeah. See, we already have the MD500 accessories, so it might be fun to try the smaller chopper first, and then. You know, we've already flown the, the big chopper a long time ago when we moved out here. I just, I spawned it in uh, to help with the move and also kind of um, built that into our role playing too. Uh, so why don't we, why don't we make an MD500 and just see how we like it compared to the larger chopper. So let's go ahead and it's the chassis that we're going to, we're going to want first. So let's get the parts going for that. So we're going to need five springs, 300 steel. Just going to grab a stack of steel. Mechanical parts, um, pipes. Oh man, we burned up so much of our duct tape making the, the rockets. 
132. Where's my glue at? Right here. All right, let's make... Let's see how many more duct tapes we can make. I'm, I'm really actually having a little bit of a trouble now. Yeah, we're going to need 40 of those. It's not going to be enough. Um, with cloth, you know, getting, getting enough cloth. And I can make cloth from grass, but it takes so much grass. It's just a ridiculous amount of grass to make a small amount of cloth. It's just, it's very hard to uh, to sustain that. So what did I come in here for? Or, uh, yeah, water. Came in here for water. So let's grab 20 more jars of water and we'll grab bones. I'm going to have to really start gathering bo bones again now, too. Man, both of you guys are, like, chocked full of, of busy doing stuff. But I'd like to get this chassis going because it's probably going to take a long time. So let's go ahead and swap these. So we can get that glue made as quickly as possible. I'm going to probably need some more wood on here, so let's just add some more to it. And once that glue is finished, uh, or the duct tape is finished, we need 21 more. Oh, no. We, wait a minute. We have a glue. It's the, it, it is the cloth that we're out of. Damn it. Right, okay. I guess what we could do is scrap these things. We, Whoops. We really don't need them. Uh, I have no, almost no problem whatsoever. In uh, that should go into the mods. In either either any of the biomes with you know cold and heat because we're we're maxed out on the temperature perk. Occasionally, I'll get a little cold or a little hot, but not not enough to worry about. So we, so we we don't need this cloth at all. So why don't we scrap these guys? And that I want to put in here. Um, incidentally, we're, we're almost completely full. <laughs> well, a lot of this is the coin, though, but this is stuff we have to sell yet. Um, all right, so that should give us enough cloth then to, to get started on the chassis for the MD500. We already have the accessories. Let's just put these back in here for now. So we'll get that duct tape going. Oh, man, well, does it give us enough cloth? Shit. I might have to go out and just punch a bunch of grass. Okay, yeah, well, cloth is, like, super high priority. Bones are pretty high priority. You know, next time we're out and about doing jobs and whatnot. Is there anything down here that I could do for cloth? Not, not really. Not to the point that I want to you know, tear the place apart because it's all nice and cleaned up now. We could, I guess we could take the, take these. Any more fabric blinds? No, they're all, they're all the plastic ones. No, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna scrap the American flag. Come on, you guys. Don't even think it. Um Okay, well I guess that's the only option I have for cloth in here. I don't know if that rug is actually a cloth rug or if it's a painted on rug. What about in here? This is just the supply area. Lots of cardboard in here if I needed it, or paper, I guess. Yeah, not really anything in here either. Let's go up, stop, up top here. Yeah, you know what we could do too, and should do, is we should go raid a sa Savage Country store, because um, we'd get, we'd be able to get a lot of cloth doing that. Our turrets are doing work, man. Okay, well. I could harvest that couch, but I kind of like my couch, you know? It's all it's all old and beat up, but it's very comfy. After a long, hard day of killing zombies. Jeez, what the hell's going on? Do we have a wandering horde coming in, probably? Yeah, 
and let them take care of it. Okay, well, um, we are 40, or I'm sorry, 10 duct tapes shy of being able to make the MD5. Unless I want to reduce the amount of <clears throat> these. Yeah, let's do that. Let's reduce the amount of rockets just because I really want to get this thing going. Um, yeah, so let's get the chassis going. That's going to take 61 minutes. That's why I wanted to get it going because <laughs> it takes so long. All right. We can still make another 31 of those. Uh, plus we have in here, uh, we have four that we had just found in loot. Oh, I guess I didn't scrap that shirt, did I? Okay, let's do that too. All right, so um, I'm going to finish getting prepped here, and then I'll meet you guys at the Horde base, and we'll do um, Horde Night uh, 98, and then after that, we'll see uh, how our time goes. All right, guys, we are at the Horde base and ready to go here. Um, yeah, I was going to say, I hope I have repair kits on me. I do. Um, let's just take a spaghetti right now and also a yucca juice smoothie so we don't have to worry about food and drink for the duration of the Horde night. Um, I robbed a couple of mods off of my crossbow to put on the rocket launcher. Uh, it has a fourth mod slot, too, so I'm not sure what else we can put on there, but we'll figure that out. I'll just have to remember to remake those mods for um for the the, the crossbow okay so let's see how tonight goes um the cool thing about these rockets here um this rocket launcher does 1422 damage i don't know if that's factoring in those or not but uh it does a hell of a lot more damage than the grenades do so we'll just see how how things go tonight and have some fun um, you know, aside from the fact that we're now using <laughs> our little wolf guy, I found a new wolf pup or white fox or whatever as down there. <laughs> Man, he's probably going to die. I mean, I can't do anything about it now. Though. Um, anyway, aside from using the rocket launcher, uh, otherwise it's going to be, you know, the same, same old, same old that we've done. So the last few hard nights in the tower. So I'm probably just going to go ahead and, um, I want, I want to make sure we get a pretty good-sized group. Of, oh, shit! That bird just about pushed me off the, <laughs> off the edge. Um, I wasn't even paying attention. Get out of here. Anyway, yeah, so just going to time-lapse this. And um, hope you guys enjoy the Horde Night, and we'll see how things end up.
All right, guys, it is morning. Let's see if this gets the demo. Yep, I've, been, I've successfully been able to kill all the demolishers without them blowing up inside the uh, the pit here. So let's go ahead and clean up the rest of the trash and we'll see what we get for loot. takes care of the majority of them. Let's run on down here. The, <laughs> the fox survived. That's funny. Okay. I think that's everybody. Let's pop our um, luckies on. Oh, actually, I'm, I'm already wearing our luckies. I'm not even wearing the, the other ones anymore. Check the orange bag first. And nothing spectacular in the orange bag. We'll go get these next. Yeah, ooh, nice. Look at that. It's a shame that the bags disappear because, depending upon your horde base design, you can't get to them all before the end of the night. I don't know if they disappear or they get damaged. I'm not sure how that works. Got a purple machete out of that deal. Okay, the damage is about the same as it always is. Quite a few bags down here, my goodness. Okay, let's get the orange ones first. That's pretty nice there. Eh. Eh. <laughs> Nothing too, too fantastic. Okay, we'll check the rest of these. That's pretty good. I think that's it for the blue bags. So we'll just do the yellows. Didn't read this one here. Yeah, the, uh, the rocket launcher I discovered was a... Oh, that's nice. That is really nice if we decide to go back to light armor. Uh, the rocket launcher will one-shot the demos. Another purple auger there. Oh, that's good, too. Yeah, v vehicle fuel saver mod. We'll definitely take that and make it and use it. Um, yeah, rocket launcher will one shot the demos, which is fast, fantastic. At least the one that I have, because you know it's all modded up and everything. So that's good to know. You just have to. Ooh, baby, yeah, that might give us a, a full set of purple light armor now too. I'm not sure. I don't know if I, I'll actually go back to light armor though. I mean, I've been doing just fine with heavy armor. It, you know, you get into these these end. These in-game, um, I don't have anything to break that. None. Well, do I have gas on me? Nope. Okay. Well, I'll have to get those pieces of scrap later. Uh, but anyway, you get into the end game and, you know, those tier six, tier five and tier six POIs are so triggered that, you know, stealth is less useful. And even and, and I still can do a pretty decent stealth even with the heavy armor just because of all the extra perks and the you know the muffled mo, uh, muffled fittings and all that sort of thing. So there, I don't really actually see much point in going back to light armor for the rest of this playthrough. But if we decide to do it anyway, uh, we will have a really nice set of light armor to use. Where's a uh, there he is. I can do, dude. You, 
<laughs> you are one tough little puppy, man. I'll tell you what. He he stood in the explosion chamber the entire night and took all the... I, he's got to... There's got to not be any friendly fire. That's the only thing I can think of because there's just no way he could have survived all those explosions, um, you know, down there. But he did. So that that seems to suggest that there's no friendly fire or at least explosives do not affect your NPCs. Um, we didn't have one demolisher blow up out here. So that's what this crater is, but not a big deal. We can easily fix that. Oh, here's another bag here. Um, yep, we'll take that. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to um, I'm gonna decide if I want to repair all of this now or do it later. There's another screamy. Um, but I'm gonna get uh, all the rest of the stuff back to the base, kind of get situated, and then I'll either come back here and repair this before I bring you guys back, or I'll do it later. Um. And then we'll, um, see, do we have a new tier six to do? I think we do. We got Higashi Pharmaceutical. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll probably do that next. I do have these lower level things, you know, quest two that we might do. And I'm, and I'm thinking it might be fun to do a couple of just random, you know, random looting episodes too, where we don't worry about doing a job, you know, for the trader, but we just go check out new POIs that I haven't done so, you know, we'll probably be doing that, too, at some point. Anyways, um, I'll bring you guys back in a little bit, and then we'll go from there. All right, guys, we're back at the base. Um, we don't have enough time left in this episode to go out and do a POI, but I am going to uh, just talk about a couple of things that are, are going to happen here. I've got a bunch of mods that I can make that I need to make and have not done so yet. Uh, so let's look at uh, what those are. We're going to make ourselves a... Uh, did I already make the fireman's axe mod for my axe? I did. Okay, so we've, we've made that. We're going to... I don't know what else I can put on the rocket launcher. Um, I've got the reflex sight, the rad remover, and the cripple mod. Um... You know, I, I, I guess it wouldn't make sense... You'd, you'd think it might make sense to put a foregrip mod on here, but it doesn't work. I already tried it. And maybe a retracting stock, but that doesn't make sense either because the rocket launcher sits on top of your shoulder. It doesn't butt up against it. So, yeah, I'm not really sure what other mods would fit on here. So I'll have to kind of, you know, maybe experiment a little bit with that. Um, yeah, so, okay, let's get, let's, uh, get back into here. So let's see what else we need to make. We're going to make I don't, a laser sight mod prop might fit on there, but I don't know if it'll fit on there along with a uh, a reflex. I think those two are are mutually exclusive, but I'm not 100% sure. There's nothing else in here that goes in there. I already tried to put this on, which doesn't make sense for a rocket launcher anyways. So, yeah. What else, where were we at? Yeah, we were, we we're thinking of laser. So I could I could make one of those and see if it works. Magazine extender mod doesn't work on it, of course. Um, this is the retracting stock mod. I'm going to make a robotic drone plating mod. In fact, I'm going to just favorite these now just so I can remember them. We're going to do the medic. We already have the morale booster on uh, here in the headlamp. Okay, let's keep looking here. We're going to make the vehicle. I, I need to make one of these for all of our vehicles. So let's favorite that. This we could make. I mean, why the hell not, right? We'll make that. Uh, we need to make these two for... Uh, I think my dirt bike has this, but the rest of them don't. So I need to make several of those. And then everything else we can't make at this point in time. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, just to kind of give you an idea of what, what, what I'm going to do off camera is, is make one or more of those mods, depending upon how many, you know, that we need to get that taken care of. Uh, let's take a look at our, our chopper. Okay, so we're uh, we're only about three minutes away from that being done. So what I might, I think what I'll do is I'll cut the camera here, wait for that to finish, make the actual 
uh, chopper itself. Oh no! <laughs> Shit! Oh no, I accidentally canceled that. Oh, for Pete's sake. All right, you know what I'm gonna do, you guys? Um, we're gonna dump all of this on the ground. I was only two minutes away, so I hope nobody minds that I'm gonna do it. And if you do, tough, I'm doing it anyways. Because <laughs> I'm not waiting another hour uh, for this. We're gonna go into the creative menu. That was so stupid on my part, but whatever. Uh, we're gonna just, I'm just gonna spawn in the chassis. Um, and, and I'll, I'll even wait two more minutes before I do anything with it. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, I can't believe I did that. Well, no, I can't. It's me, right? Okay. Anyway. Um, and then to make the actual MD 500 itself, that's only take 48 seconds. So, so once I have that made, um, let's get the rest of the stuff. So we got the accessories that we got in some loot at some point. And then, um, let's track this. So we're just going to need a battery. Man, we got a ton of batteries. We're going to need an engine and, yeah, a ton of engines. And some mechanical parts. Okay. And, yeah, you know what? Enough time's gone by. Screw it. It doesn't matter. We're going to... We're going to make it. The important thing is, is that I did pay for it, and I paid for it in time up to two minutes out, and so we're not going to make a big deal out of it. Um, all right, so we'll get that. We'll take it for a spin just to see how it is before we wrap things up here. And then I'll make those other mods, like I said, and then the tentative plan for the next episode is that we will we'll start um, the Higashi Pharmaceutical, and we'll also have another episode or three where we'll do some of these lower-level jobs and also just do some random POIs that I have not been in yet too, just for fun. Okay. So let's go ahead and grab some fuel. I don't know how much fuel this thing's going to take. So we'll grab that and let's open this up. All right. Oh, you know what? We're going to have to build ourselves a, 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 hel a helipad. I don't know why I have so much trouble. You know what I might do? Well, <laughs> it's raining foxes. Um, I might tear this building down. I don't. I have no use for this building. Absolutely zero use for it. So I might tear this building down, and maybe what we'll do is we'll build ourselves a big helipad in this corner. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Okay, that'll be fun. Very good. All right. Let's um place this down here. I mean, there is actually room to just land it here, but it'd be cooler if we actually had it on a helipad. And then what we'll do is we'll fuel this guy up. And it looks like that took all the fuel. 77%. Okay. All right. So does this work like... Yeah, it seems like it has the same controls as the gyrocopter. The big the big helicopter's controls are a little bit different. So the forward key is actually up. And you have to press the C key to dip down. Uh, which on a, a chopper, for those of you who may not know, you have to do to, to actually move forward. Uh, but it feels like it's got the same, pretty much the same controls as the, as the gyro does. Um, I'm going to do just, just because this is the absolute worst time. The space bar levels it out for us to have a storm. I'm going to do one other cheat. Um, weather default. And that should clear up the weather so we can actually see. Wait, did that take? Weather default, X command command, weather did run, begin processing weather command. Well, it says it's not recognized. I could have sworn that's, um, that was the command.
Weather. Default. Okay, I'm obviously typing something in. What if we did weather... Fog zero. Well, that removed all the haze. Yeah, I'm obviously typing that command wrong. It's weather something default to get it to just go back to sunny, but obviously it's not working. But anyway, this is cool. Uh, we've got ourselves a chopper now. Um, let's take it back down to the base and land it, and I want to see how many inventory slots there are in it. Whoa, what just happened? I didn't do that. <laughs> Crash! I I didn't hit anything, and it just all of a sudden went haywire on me. All right, we're gonna have to um, reset it. Yeah, it's a uh, you know controlling the the these helicopters and the gyrocopter. It's it's like. You're so used to using the normal controls, you know, for the vehicles and stuff that it's just you have to really think about what you're doing, you know, to, to go to control it the way it's supposed to. And then you also it's really easy to to over overcompensate, too. Uh, but anyways, let's uh, let's look in here. How much space do we have? OK, so this is definitely less space than the big chopper, because the big chopper, I think, has 90 slots. This has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is 80 slots. Okay, so so the big chopper has um, has 90 slots in it. Okay, let's do one other thing too, actually, before I let's go. Oh, shit. Oh, you know what? We need to put more fuel in our... in here. She's probably out of range of the turrets. All right. Anyway, um, let's run over to the command center. Uh, I want to test out a couple of the other vehicles before I build them because, you know, they're expensive to make. There's another screamy. And then um, I, I want to compare the, the B, BRDM, I think it's called, you know, the amphibious vehicle, and the troop transport to the Hummer, or the Humvee. Because I don't like the Humvee. I'm not, I'm not a fan. Gotta say, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of it. it. It does have lots of storage space. That is the one thing it does have going for it. But it's got really poor acceleration. Uh, it's top end speed is not it doesn't appear to be all that great that could be a bit of a optical illusion though just because of the camera angle and all that and it's terrible on rough terrain absolutely atrocious on rough terrain so what we're gonna do is how many slots do we have in here one two three four five six seven eight nine so this has 90 slots just like uh, I believe the Hummer does You know, th this place actually has repops because I haven't been back here since we we set it up. I don't have any practical reason to come here. We just did it for role playing purposes. Um, oh wow. Okay, that's got that's got more than ninety slots. For Pete's sake, where'd they go? Can I be left alone for one second, please? <laughs> okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have a hundred slots in the Hummer. That doesn't suck. Hold still. Jeez. He kept every time I'd shoot, he'd move his head the other direction. Uh, let's just double check this one again. 
This one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, okay, that one has 90. Um, what about, what is this thing? MRAP. I don't even remember what that stands for. Uh, storage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so that has 90 slots. This this one did too, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that one has 90. What about the troop transport thingy? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so, so all uh, three of these vehicles, that one, that one, this one, and the big chopper all have 90 slots. So that is definitely an advantage that the Humvee has over those other vehicles is that it's got 10 more slots. Um, all right, so let's just do a quick test drive of these. Okay, so this one has reasonably decent acceleration, but it looks like it's top end speeds, not anything to write home to mother about. It stops pretty quickly. Yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't. I wouldn't even say that acceleration is all that great. Um, how does it do on rough terrain? Let's go take it for a little test run over here. By the way, this is my big uh, uh, oil shale and iron mine. Here goes way back that way. So there's still a lot of material down in there. If we did, is it default zero? I don't know why the hell that command isn't working for me. I could have sworn it was just weather default. Hold on a second, I gotta look it up, it's bugging me now. Oh, it's defaults, that's what it is, okay. Defaults. There we go, okay. Whip. That was for forgetting the S. All right, how does it do going up here? That's not bad. That is way better than the Humvee. Let's try it over here. Okay, well, that's a little steep for just about anything, though. <laughs> Come on. Okay, yeah, this this vehicle does pretty darn good on rough terrain, compared to the Humvee anyways. Uh, not bad at all. All right, let's go back and try um, the other two. Okay, we'll try this guy next. Okay, it doesn't stop as quickly as the MRAP does. It feels very much the same as the Humvee. Pretty slow acceleration. Top end speed's nothing special. Let's see how it does on rough terrain. Now, this vehicle should do very well in rough terrain if it's, you know, true to life, but we'll see. I wonder if it can actually go on the water. I'm I'm been toying with the idea of having involving a large body of water in our next. Yeah, see, th th you know what this is, guys. This is just the Humvee reskinned. It's nowhere near as good as the MRAP for terrain. That's kind of disappointing because this is a cool looking vehicle. But um, yeah, this is actually inferior to the Humvee just by the virtue of the fact that the Humvee has ten more slots in it. But it, it feels exactly. In terms of its performance, exactly like the Humvee. All right, let's go try the troop transport. Oh, what I was saying was, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about involving a large body of water in the next series that we do and installing the, the boat mod. Uh, if you guys aren't already aware, there's a mod that you can install that has, you know, boats and rafts and 
different things like that that you can actually travel across the water on, which is very cool. Um, Ravenhurst has that mechanic built into it, and I played with that a little bit right at the very end of my last Ravenhurst series, but that was on Alpha 20 or 19, actually. That was actually Alpha 19, I think. Or maybe it was 20, I don't remember. Yeah, I think it was Alpha 19. Okay, so yeah, not impressed, unfortunately, with the BR, uh, BDRM, even though it's very cool looking. Uh, let's see how the troop transport does. Light military troop transport, is that what LMTV stands for? Okay, a little bit better acceleration. Cornering's not too bad. I'm not I'm not sure if it's faster top end speed is faster than the other two, but it seems probably about the same in that regard, but let's see how it does on on terrain. Not bad. Okay, we kind of got it in a, a rough spot here. Let's see if we can back it out a little bit. And now we're high centered. Come on, baby, you can do it. Yeah, I, you know what the problem with this vehicle is, is that it's got too wide of a wheelbase. So it high centers more easily. It it can take, it seems like it can take the hills just as good as the MRAP, but it's more susceptible to high centering. I think the MRAP is probably overall the best vehicle of the of these three that we just tested. Now there is a Willys Jeep um, that the that comes with the mod as well. We should probably take a look at that and see how it does. You know the thing the thing though too is it's not like we're going to be taking these vehicles over rough train all the time. It's just if we ever have to, it's nice to know that we have one that that can handle it. Is the thing. All right, let's go vehicles. Let's just see what what all we have. We got the Humvee. We got we we tried the MRAP, which I think is the winner so far. We could try the semi, but the semi is kind of big and bulky. There's this little Sherp thing. Let Let's grab one of those and look at it. And then these are the the Willys Jeeps. Um, I think I like, oh yeah, that's right. We've got the box truck too. And there's a dune buggy. We, we have the chassis. I think it is for the box truck. Let's grab the Willys Jeep or Willy Jeep. Not really interested in the chargers. I mean, obviously those are not going to do well on, um, on rough terrain, hot rod Marauder. Let's try that, too. We've tried the MRAP. There's this UAZ vehicle. Oh, yeah, actually, you know what? That's the one that we have the chassis for. And I think that's everything that we would be interested in. I mean, I guess we could try just a pickup truck, too. Okay. How much gas do I have? I'm going to just spawn in some gas because we're just testing these. So, okay. All right, let's do this. Let's take, let's go over to the rough terrain and test them there. Just so I don't have to keep coming back and forth here. Oh, that thing's kind of goofy looking. I don't even know if I would want to want, want that at all. The Willy Jeep. Well, that's kind of cool looking there, though. Ooh, that's neat. <laughs> I actually like that. Okay. Box truck. 
the van in the pickup truck. Okay, let's try the pickup truck first. Um... All right, so this is basically like a, the vanilla 4x4, and it sucks. I mean, look how slow I'm going, even though that supposedly is... Oh, and it doesn't have very good traction either. It spins out quite easily. It doesn't stop very well either. Okay, let's do this. Let's go into here and go um, admin... And oh, that doesn't get rid of that. Okay, um, super wrench, admin block, replace tool, super digger, instant death, hammer of God. I don't remember what that does. Terrain modeling. No, we don't want that. What does hammer of God do? Nothing. All right, well, whatever. Then we'll just... There might be a command where I can look at it and delete it, but I'm not sure what that command is, so we're just going to leave it parked there. All right, let's try the van next. Okay, slow acceleration. Oh, man. The braking on this is atrocious. All right, I don't even care if it does good on hills. I'm not interested. Stops. The stopping is absolutely terrible. Oh, you know what we could do, actually? We could, um... Let's just do this, and then we'll... Really? Okay, whatever. I don't know why these vehicles are, like, invincible. Okay, let's try the box truck. See, now this would make sense... From a looting standpoint, you know, to have a big van to haul all your stuff around in. It doesn't stop with the shit either. Let's just see what it does on the hill. Yeah, okay. That's what I expected, but we tried it. And it's got a really, you know, long back end, too, so it gets gets stuck. Like, like it just did there. Oh, what if we do this? Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's the solution. I don't know why I didn't think about that in the first place. Just pick it up, throw it on the ground, and then it'll despawn. Okay, let's try the Marauder. Now, this thing is badass looking, man. <laughs> I might actually like this. It's got really good acceleration. Well, I mean, decent acceleration. Okay, it's okay. I guess it's like kind of like the vanilla. Let's see how it does on hills. All right, that's that's a bit much for any vehicle. <laughs> let's let's go this way. It stop. Oh, it stops really good. I like this, you guys. Look at this thing. <laughs> it's a beast. Oh, yeah. Okay. woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Look at this thing. It's awesome. Okay. It, it gets really squirrely, though, if you don't let off the accelerator. It seems to have decent speed. It stops really well. It absolutely flips hills off. <laughs> and it's cool looking. How many storage spaces does it got? Oh man, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's got a hundred? Four, five. It does. Oh man. Okay, Marauder is at the top of my list, guys. Let's try this next. Is that decent acceleration? Top end speed's about the same as the Marauder, I would say. Let's see how it does on hills.
Okay, well, it got up there, but that was incredibly steep. <laughs> really? You gotta be kidding me. Alright. Let's try that again. Okay, let's try these hills here. It seems to be a little more prone to tipping over, which makes sense because it's got, you know, the narrow narrower wheelbase. But it, it eats the hills up. Okay, so it's every bit as good as the Marauder, I would say, in terms of hills. But it's not doesn't seem to be quite as stable as the Marauder. It's still not bad, though. Let's see how much storage it has. See, the other thing about the Marauder is it's, you know, it's got that Mad Max vibe, which is perfect for the Apocalypse, too, so it just fits. But that's not bad. Um, how many storage spaces does this have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two. Okay, so it has the same storage space as the Marauder. So both of these are at the top of my list, but the Marauder's, I st still think it's better. Okay, let's try this goofy looking thing. Uh, am I out of gas already? Here, we'll just open that. A Sherp. Decent acceleration. About average stopping. Okay, doesn't have much trouble with hills. Whoa. <laughs> Funny. Okay. Kind of a a little bit unstable too as to be expected I'm not even on the accelerator I wasn't haven't been for the last three or four seconds there so it's a little squirrely yeah see it's uh, it's like really flipping all over the place doesn't have much trouble with hills though it's just it's just more squirrely than the other two Yeah, I mean, it's all over the place. Okay. All of that left and right turning, I'm not doing that. I, I am not moving. I'm not steering this vehicle at all. It's just doing that on its own. So, yeah, that kind of rules it out for me then. Okay. So, uh, let's pick this up. Uh, I don't care how many slots it Well, you know what? You guys might be curious. Let's just look and see how many slots it does have. It's um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so yeah, it's got 100 slots too. So it's good on the slot department, but it's just really squirrely. All right, guys. Um, We should be able to make every ve vehicle in the game. And I think uh, uh, Marauder is what I want absolutely what I want okay uh, the Willy Jeep is also very very good just for anybody who might be interested in getting this mod I'm gonna make this legit I'm not gonna take it for free of course um so yeah if you, if you have the chance to get the Willy Jeep before the Marauder I don't know which one comes first in terms of the skill magazines but uh, where's my motorcycle it's over here they're both very very good pretty much almost on par with each other but the Marauder is just I think a little more stable and very cool looking. <laughs> All right, you guys. So I'm going to let you go here. Uh, I'm going to build the Marauder. And um, we'll use that and we'll use the, you know, the MD500 chopper for now. And then I'll probably, oh, nice. I'll probably, um, I thought I heard her coming, but that's the fox. 
make the big chopper two at some point because why not you know i mean it's got woohoo I think the big chopper is a little easier to control. That that would really be the main reason why I would make it over the MD500 because MD500 is the same as the the gyrocopter. But we'll see. And uh, with that being said, I'm gonna let you guys go here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, uh, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye bye.